Hey everybody, I've had a question on how to schedule the automatic programs on these older Schulmerich instruments with the, the clock dial that has the pins around the outside. So I'm going to show you how that works. It looks a little daunting, but it's actually not all that complicated um, once you get used to dealing with it. First of all, this area is a clock. It doesn't look quite like a regular clock because there aren't any hands, but there's an hour ring which has a daytime and nighttime section and hours divided into 15 minute segments. And then there's a minute dial inside and you are able to change the time by turning the minute dial, oddly enough, counterclockwise um, to advance the time. Underneath that clock dial, there's actually a little window that in my case is missing something. There's supposed to be a metal plate on there displaying the day of the week. Hopefully yours will have that. That dial has to be set to the current weekday because inside there are settings that are put in at the factory to make certain functions available on some days of the week and not others. It might not matter on your particular instrument because these things were very much customized, but better to be safe, make sure it says the correct day of the week. If it's not set to the current day of the week, you can set it manually as long as the time displayed is not between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. If this area up here is indicating 10 at night to 2 in the morning, don't try to change the day because you might jam something inside. But as long as you're outside that time range, take a pin, put it into the little hole on the right hand side, and move it over and it'll take you to the next day. And you can just keep doing that for as many days as you need to cycle through to get to the correct day of the week. So you have your clock, the uh, weekday dial, there will be some type of program switches. On this instrument, they're located below the clock. I've seen some instruments where they are smaller switches and located up in the upper portion of the cabinet. Again, it depends on the particular installation, but there are program switches that will, that will offer on and off options for whatever available uh, pre-programmed functions there are. Above the clock dial, there's a little plate, and that has the names of the different programs on it. I don't know if I can zoom in enough to really let you see that. Let me see. Kinda. It's a little hard to read. but And this will be different for your instrument. It's individual to the instrument, but mine says uh, Westminster, Weather Bells, Role Player Follow, and Role Player. And behind each of those names, there's actually a little bunch of contacts, little switches. That's where the program pins come in. So I'm going to show you the program pins and you'll see how they work. Let's take a look at these program pins. There's a couple of details you need to notice when you're going to use them to program. First of all, the bottom of the pin has a large, deep notch in it. And then the upper portion of the pin has a series of smaller notches. Okay, those are important because the smaller notches will be filled in by collars. There should be at least one on any program pin you have. Um, some of them may have a, a, a collar on every notch because that's the way they were shipped by the company originally. And the user would cut off whatever collars they didn't need. The bottom part of the pin, which has the larger notch, is the part that you actually insert into the time dial. So you have to know which way you're going to go. If you put it in upside down, it might fall out or it might not line up correctly to start the programs that you're looking for. So when you're going to program, you have to find a pin that has a collar that aligns with the program listed on the plate over the time dial. When you're ready to schedule a program, you just find a pin that has the appropriate collar. So this pin has a collar down near the bottom and the first notch. So that is going to be appropriate for Westminster chime. So if I wanted to program Westminster Chime for 6 o'clock, there's the 6th. I go in the hole on the outer edge of the ring and just push the pin in as far as it will go till it stops. That makes the little collar line up with the switch behind here that will start the Westminster sequence. Once you've got your program pins in place, double check and make sure that your program switches are in the on position for whatever function you're trying to schedule. So if you want the hour strike, the Westminster chime and hour strike, you have to make sure the hour switch is in the on position. Same thing for whatever function. And as I mentioned before, some systems have those switches in banks all together. This one has a role player switch 
the Westminster switches separately. Um, it depends on your particular system, but just make sure that the functions you want are in the on position. And that way, if you have it all scheduled, but you decide, ooh, today we don't want Westminster chime at noon, you can just run in there, turn that to the off position. You don't have to undo any of your scheduling with the program pins. It allows you to momentarily defeat those functions. So to summarize, set the day of the week using the day dial, making sure you don't try to change it if the time displayed is between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. Set the time by turning the minute dial counterclockwise. Locate the names of the programs and determine where they are on the plate above the time dial. Then find a program pin that matches, that has collars that match the function you're looking for. Put that program pin into the hour ring on the outside part of the time dial. And then last, make sure that the program switches are in the on position for whatever functions you want to have playing and you should be good to go. Hope this answered your questions. Thanks for watching.